Good morning, everybody. Day 139. We just left that nice little campsite. But it's rained all night. Pretty much. Stop for a minute and start back up. But it looks like it's done raining now. And it looks like we should have good weather for, well, it's going to be cold, but no rain for a while. So looks like this week, a couple nights this week, we're going to drop down in the 20s. Uh, but other than that, after that, it should warm back up to the 40s again, lows. But yeah, low of 20s a couple days this week and high of 40s. Whew. So if it was raining, that'd be a terrible combination. It doesn't look like rain in the forecast, so we're good. And from where we started today, looks like 7.5 miles to Virginia Route 42. Uh, when we get there, we're going to see how much food PR has left and make a call from there. Uh, thought we'd have enough to get to Atkins, uh, but a couple, that one short day kind of threw a wrench in the works with the food. But no biggie. We'll figure something out. It's not that big of a deal. We can we can make moves out here. We can make things happen. Anybody can. <laughs> if you're just willing to do it. All right. Looks like Katie and Pierre are getting ahead of me. I'm going to try to catch back up with them. But I hope you guys have a great, great day. And I'll touch back with the cool stuff. There they are. And the views. You know, just like I do, baby. Oh, we got Lick Creek today, too. Which is a bridge that's been out. Which, I don't know why it's not fixed yet. Who knows? ATC's got better things to do, I guess. But, anyway. We're going to forward that today, too. So, yeah, that's the rundown. Switchback. What please? Lake Creek. The water's not even a foot deep right now. There's the old bridge. You just go from here across. I got this rope up for if the river's raging, but it's not raging. Hi. Huh? It's, it's not being happy. All right. Let's get across Lick Creek. Good boy. Good boy. I had to pick up my stuff, shoes, umbrella. You're right, that is cold. It does kind of feel good though. I'm just glad it ain't up to my waist. All right, let's get across this thing. A little bit of blow down. What? We're almost done with this climb up uh, out of Lick Creek. You climb up, 
and drop back down to that mall branch, which is like water. And then climb up to that mall. Yeah, we're not about done with our first climb of the day. Almost done with it. Switch back. <laughs> Dog loves the water. Good boy. Get better. Where do you go this way? This is a cool bridge. <clears throat> what do you think, you little swimmer? <laughs> Break time, buddy. <laughs> so we're at that mall shelter. And it's been pretty comfortable today. Almost got this climb over with. I think we're two miles from the road we're going to to try to get PR some dog food, or we might have enough dog food. We'll get to the road and we'll figure it out. I know I don't have enough food now because I thought we were gonna go there, but. There's a hostel, bear garden hostel right there. I think they had some resupply. I've never been there, so pop in there, see what they got, and then we'll figure it out. But that's the plan. Look, somebody's hungry. You got food? Yeah, break time. So after we left Not Mall Shelter, we had a little climb to finish off. And then after that climb, we'll drop down to Virginia Route 42, where we're gonna go see what Bear Garden Hostel has for heat supply. And then from there, move on another three miles or so. That'll leave us like 10, to get into Atkins tomorrow. That's the dealio. I think we finally have a plan. As long as the resupply at Bear's Garden Hostel is good, we'll be good. Let's switch back. Coming down to Virginia Route 42. This is where Bear Garden Hostel is. I've never been there. But, hey, you know, if we walk across this parking lot here, we'll be closer, less road walk for PR. And we'll just come back this way. If we go to the road here, yeah. it's closer, it's less road walk for PR, and then we'll just come back this way. Okay. Yep. To the parking lot. Right. You anxious, aren't you? Yeah. We finally made it, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one Coke missing. Because Katie just cracked open hers. Mm. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Thank you so much, Karen. I'm going to drink this right now. Both of these and take this note. 
Leave no trace, everybody. Perfect timing, too. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. I wonder how she knew we were going to take that side trail. <laughs> That's a blue blaze. Oh. All right, thanks, Karen. Thank All right, so I rung this little doorbell. And it must have dinged his phone. He answered me. Um, looks like they're all shut up here, but he's going to come down. I said I'm just looking for a little bit of resupply. Oh, I'm burping. <laughs> yeah, we're waiting. Hopefully he's got resupply. That'd be perfect. So I don't have to figure anything else out. Nice. Oh. Bark, baby. All right, Bear Garden Hostel had everything I needed and some. They even had microwavable chicken sandwiches that were delicious. Sounds gross, I know, but those are pretty good. Had pizzas, burgers, oatmeal, mountain house meals, ramen, chips. Yeah, they had everything you need to get you to Atkins for sure. Because we're only 13 miles from Atkins. Bear Garden Hostel. Now we're just going to go back up here. I know, I'm a purist. But look what we're going to do. We're going to go up here, wrap around, then cross the road, then back up. Most people would probably just walk this road. But why are we going back up here? We're going back up here because we don't want to miss any of this trail. Because this, this is where we got off. Because this is where we got off. Look, 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 look. Right there. Stranger danger. Nice. Just popped out of this cool little field walk. So right after you leave that road 42, you walk through some pastures. And it's really, really beautiful. We go through this pasture. We're gonna go by this old mill too. So that's cool. Hey, PR. Chill, buddy. Patience, my friend. No patience, that one. Bye, please. Here's that old mill type thing. I don't know what it is. Gristle mill or something. Like it's about to be falling down. Oh, PR, climb ladder. Yeah, let me zoom you in. Man, it's so hard to tell. Bama. There it is. You can kind of see it now. Set a cross over that style. Had you plugged in, had to unplug it. And we walk right across these people's driveway. There it is. You can finally see it better. Here, let me zoom you in. Look how beautiful the leaves are. One of these days, I'm gonna walk by this thing and it's not gonna be here. It's always a sad day when like, something you used to walking by or people you used to see and then they're no longer there anymore on the trail. It's like, it's not the same. This spot, I'll always remember this spot with this old barn. And of course, ooh. Walking over their driveway. Check this out. <clears throat> what a place to live.
just got that little climb all the way from the creek. Now we're going down to this road. It zigzags us all around and then across the road. Then we go up on this ridge. I don't know how far much farther we're going to go. I thought about camping right up here. So we have this view. But I don't know. It's like we're going down to the road and talking in the woods. With no view. <laughs> it will be warmer, I'm not going to lie. It's supposed to be down to 26 tonight in town, so up here. It's probably going to be really chilly. This is beautiful. What's up, boys? <laughs> we got some cows. Uh oh, the curious cows. She's so pretty. She's so pretty. Buddy. I don't know what this stuff is. No idea. We walked out of the field, crossed the road. Now we're making our way in here somewhere. I'm not sure where we're gonna go. We'll find something. It's not too hard to find something when you got hammocks. The more we do today, the less we gotta do tomorrow, I guess, to get us to Atkins. What's happening, everybody? end of the day recap day 139 we'll hit a nice little stealth site after dropping off of chestnut knob at 566 and now we're at this stealth site at 554.9 makes an 11.1 .1 mile day everybody and uh today was pretty nice actually super chill nice views in that open field i loved it and uh now we've got, we've got the first, we've got two more climbs before we get to Atkins after that road. Uh, we're almost up to this top of the first climb and it is supposed to get cold tonight. Uh, 26, supposed to feel like 20. I've got a 40 degree under quilt, so we're going to test it to the max. <laughs> pretty hilarious. Um, next three days are going to be cold nights, and tomorrow is going to be pretty cold all day, high of 35. So uh, we're going to hit Atkins tomorrow. I think we're nine and a half miles away from there. And then we'll go into Atkins tomorrow night, get out of the cold. Uh, but that's the plan, and that's the dealio. Nice, nice day. Just kind of like dreading waking up in the morning and hiking in 35 degree weather. But whatever, it's not going to be that bad. I've done way worse. What's that? 25 degree weather, I guess. And 20 mile an hour winds. So it ought to be pretty interesting and pretty cold. Especially when we wake up. So, yeah. Oh, and we're in a wind tunnel. It's even better. <laughs> yeah. Smart, smart moves we're making. Anyways, uh... Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to touch back in the morning and 
we'll be good to go. But that's a wrap on the day. <laughs> day 139, 11.1 miles. And I hope you guys had a great, great day. And I'll touch back with you guys in the morning, baby.